What's going on gamers? Russ Lyman here and welcome back to another Top 3 Tuesday where we'll be talking about the Game Boy Advance system. There's quite a few things I like about this system and I want to count down my top 3 reasons why I love it so much. Now, it being a handheld system, you're on the go and you want to bring games with you. But what Nintendo thought of was great. Number three! This can not only play Game Boy Advance games, but it can also play Game Boy Color and original Game Boy games. This is a big one for me. Having backwards compatibility is amazing. I can play all my old games and the ones on the Game Boy Advance. This meant on road trips, going to a friend's house, or on vacation, I could just grab my Game Boy Advance and any of my old games. This triples the library of games you could play. If you were a kid just getting the Game Boy Advance for the first time, you could now get some Game Boy or Game Boy Color games to try out. They're usually cheaper too, so you can get a lot more than just one Game Boy Advance game. They even made a feature with those games in mind. If you put in any Game Boy or Game Boy Color game, you could hit the shoulder button to stretch the game to fit the whole screen. Or you could just play it in its original aspect ratio as well. Either way, you could still enjoy those games and all the Game Boy Advance ones as well. I love having such a large library of games to choose from. The only problem is picking the right one to play. Now this is a handheld system that's supposed to fit comfortably in your hand, so coming in at number two. Number two! Is well, size matters. As much as I love my Switch, this bad boy is not fitting in the pocket comfortably while I'm walking around. The GBA on the other hand is a great size to fit into my pocket or just toss into my backpack. The only downside to this, it leaves the screen exposed to loose change, keys, or anything else in your pocket. The GBA SP fixed this with the redesigned shell, being able to close and protect the screen. Although the SP has this option, I still enjoy the size of the original better. It's wider than the SP and it just feels better in my hands. You're not as cramped trying to play the system for long periods and the shoulder buttons just feel natural. I can only imagine if you have large hands and you try to play the SP. Yeah, the SP is great and all and I enjoy that clamshell closing design to protect the screen, but the Game Boy Advance has one advantage over that. Number one! Well, I just love how easy it's to mod the Game Boy Advance. This is my custom one here. I did the custom shell and I actually took a new screen and put it in there. It's way brighter than the original. A regular Game Boy Advance is pretty great on its own, but there's lots of ways you can modify it and improve it. Have a scratch screen? Well, they sell replacements or even glass ones. You can even order replacement shells and buttons for the system. Rose Colored Gaming has a lot of options on their site, or you could always hit up the good old eBay route. Like I said, I'm a DIYer at heart, so I just modded my own shell. It's based off my favorite Game Boy Advance game, Metroid Zero Mission. The orange mimics her suit, and then I decided to upgrade the screen itself. You can combine this bad boy with the Game Boy Advance SP to make it an ultimate match made in gaming heaven. I've taken the brighter screen of the GBA SP AGS 101. Wait, what? what do those letters even mean? Well, the GBA SP put out two different model types. The first initial release were labeled as AGS-001, and they had a front-lit screen. That was pretty good, and it was way better than using the regular Game Boy Color without any light. Later, though, they released the AGS-101, and that had a backlit screen that was far brighter. You could press the button in the middle as a dimmer switch in case you wanted to conserve battery consumption but you can never turn it off like the AGS-001. And another great modification you could do to these guys is put a Raspberry Pi inside. Then you can run some emulators and play games from all types of systems. I hadn't done this mod yet, but my friend George had one in his game room when I was visiting him and it was pretty sweet. Of course, you could put all the GBA, Game Boy Color, original Game Boy games on it, but you could also play NES and SNES games as well. 
all that in the palm of your hand or tucked away in your pocket. Well, like I said, I certainly love customizing and making DIY projects out of my systems. If you guys are interested in seeing how I modified this one, there'll be a link in the video description down below. Well guys, let me know some things you love about the Game Boy Advance in the comments section. I'm curious to see what games you guys like or maybe certain releases of the Game Boy Advance system. As always guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you're not already. If you guys are interested on more of what I do, be sure to check out my YouTube channel. And as always gamers, I'm Russ Lyman and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video.